Your Majesties, Ministers, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen. The Queen and I are very happy to welcome Your Majesties back to Norway and to the Royal Palace. Eight years ago, we had the pleasure of receiving you for a friendship visit just after your accession to the throne. That visit underlined the close relations between our monarchies and our families. This time, Your Majesties, have come for a state visit. This highlights the strong ties between our two countries. We are impressed by the way that you, King Willem Alexander, and Queen Maxima have defined your own role as Majesties. It was no easy task to be the successor to a beloved Queen, my dear friend, Princess Beatrix. You have formed, formed a genuinely modern monarchy based on who you are, with warmth and wisdom, a sense of humor, and a deep devotion to your country and to your people. I am grateful that the bonds between our monarchies are still strong. Through the close friendship between Your Majesties, Crown Prince Horkon and Crown Princess Metamarit, and also between members of your family and Princess Martha Louise. I wish you all the best as you continue your service to your country. Your Majesties, Norwegian-Dutch relations extend back many centuries. In the beginning, our relations revolved primarily around trade. But our cooperation today is based on far more than in economic interests. It is built on a shared values and mutual understanding. Norway and the Netherlands are close partners in the many multilateral forums where you both take part, such as the UN, NATO, the OSCE, and the Council of Europe. We are partners in the European economic area. We are long-standing allies in defense and security matters, and Norway greatly values the close cooperation with the Netherlands in all of these areas. Our countries are both maritime nations. For hundreds of years, the oceans have provided us with food, employment, and access to goods. Today, we are working together to reduce emissions from the shipping industry in Trondheim. And in Trondheim, you will see cutting edge research that will help pro uh, promote the green transition, both at sea and land. The countries also have much in common when it comes to culture and sports activities. Dutch DJ Tiesto has a big following in Norway, <laughs> and Kugel is a popular, popular in the Netherlands. For many years, we have enjoyed hard competition in speed skating, in sport that has been dominated by the Dutch for decades. And next week, the Netherlands and Norway will be facing off in a crucial way. World Cup qualifying match. When they last competed in September, many Dutch supporters thought the Norwegian fans were chanting Holland. In fact, they were chanting Holland. <laughs> who was the, strike, the striker of the Norwegian team. So just to be clear, I wish the Dutch good luck in the game next week. Not too much luck. <laughs> Your Majesty, we have a complex world. And people must show respect for each other's differences. It is essential that we learn how to express our differences openly in discussions, using words, not violence. I know that Your Majesty do impressive work in this respect. On several occasions, 
You have sat down with disputing parties and just listened. You give people the opportunity to share their innermost concerns and anxieties. Trying to understand each other's views is key. Respect for each other's differences is the foundation for peaceful coexistence. But it, qu it requires hard work and perseverance, as I am sure you have experienced. Your Majesties, as open modern democracies, we share core values and interests. On this note, let me wish you welcome once again. It is a great pleasure for the Queen and I to ask you all to join us in a toast to their majesties, Kim William Alexander, Queen Maxima, to the people of the Netherlands, and the close and friendly relations between them.